Hey guys, this is Mike, aka CoolBHO3K here, um, presenting you my overclocked G2. I've managed to overclock it from about 806 megahertz to this 1420 megahertz you're seeing here, and what that translates to is a massive improvement in CPU-bound applications such as benchmarks and games and emulators and just general system smoothness. Um, uh, let's back out of set CPU for now and run some benchmarks just to show you how fast it is. One of the previous criticisms of the G2 was that it ran too slow. Uh, well, some people thought it ran too slow because it had a processor of 800 megahertz. And now um, I've managed to push it p well past uh, 1 gigahertz and well past what most other phones can overclock to. As you can see, at these speeds, the G2 reaches almost 2400 on quadrant which is quite impressive um, at stock speeds it's about 1600 1700 which puts it about here <coughs> so it's quite a marked improvement let's go see um, scores in limpack normally the G2 <coughs> <coughs> normally the G2 runs at about 33 or 32 megaflops in Linpack, but after the overclock, as you can see, it's running at almost 50 megaflops, which is actually a massive improvement. Now you guys must be wondering whether the G2 consumes more power while it's overclocked and the answer is of course but you can counteract that a little bit and to be honest I've been running it at 1400 megahertz or 1420 megahertz the whole day pretty much and it doesn't really drain that much battery over much more battery over stock um, I haven't had this phone for that long so I don't know what the stock battery is but it's been bearable I mean I haven't charged this and it's been all day and it's at over half according to the icon. So um, I recommend setting up some profiles. Um, <coughs> screen off profile can be you know at 768 max just so just to prevent it from scaling up to 1400 megahertz. You can set it lower if you want to save a bit more battery um, and then I also set a battery profile so that when the battery is lower than 50 percent it'll scale down to 768 max. So I'll be posting the kernel modules and all the information that you need to know to overclock the G2 in the video description. Um, I guess I'll see you guys later.